I'm switching up my tripod setup for shooting wildlife, and I bought the Surui CT3204 tripod and the PH10 gimbal head. So, if you're considering to buy these yourself, maybe you'll find my thoughts useful on to why I decided to go with them. Mostly when I'm out shooting wildlife, I shoot video. I'm a filmmaker and I love the moving pictures. Uh, I guess most people outside shooting wildlife, they shoot photos. I also like shooting photos, but I am a filmmaker and I really enjoy making videos. Therefore, when I'm using a tripod, I've always used a fluid head, which gives me this smooth pan whenever you are following an animal. But recently, I've decided to change my setup for shooting wildlife. So I got a new tripod and I got this weird thing that I've seen so many other wildlife photographers use, which is called a gimbal head. Why I'm changing and why I'm going for the new setup, I'll explain in this video. Just a short disclaimer, because I'm no gear expert and this is not an in-depth review of the gimbal head and the tripod. This is only the reason why I bought it and the thoughts that I had when I bought it, uh, which I wanted to share with you. So if you're looking for an in-depth review of the tripod or the gimbal head, this is not the video for you. The setup I've got is this. The Sirui 3204 tripod and the Sirui PH10 gimbal head. There are mainly four reasons why I chose this tripod. First of all, and most importantly, it's lightweight. Second, it's adjustable. Third thing, it's robust. And last but not least, I really like the look of it. This thing is really lightweight. It's made by carbon, so it doesn't weigh anything. I'm used to using a Benro tripod, which is made by aluminium, and it weighs a ton compared to this one. And when you're shooting wildlife, you tend to have lots of gear with you, and the gear is heavy. The lenses are heavy, and uh, you need a lot of stuff. Maybe sometimes a chair and some camo. You have different kind of things with you and I also film myself so I have like a backup camera and another tripod and stuff like that so I have so many things with me when I'm out shooting so I need stuff to be lightweight. This tripod is adjustable. One of the things I really like about this is these knobs here because you just click them one time and then you can open up the tripod and it automatically goes into these three steps it has. So just click it and open and then it automatically goes in. Another cool thing about this, which is of course a must have, you can just click these up and then you got a flat setup which you can put on the ground. And that is really important when you're shooting wildlife because most of the time you want to get down low and be in eye level with the animal. That empathizes a lot with the animal so you're not shooting down towards it. But you need to get down and this tripod does that. That is a must have for a wildlife uh, tripod, in my opinion, of course. It got these huge turning knots uh, down here, which you can just turn all of them with one hand and you can pull it out and it's pretty long, as you can see. Next thing is the ball head. There is a big knob here. Again, it's big. It's obviously made for wildlife. They know that you often wear gloves, so it's easy to just turn and you can fix where you want the ball head to, to be placed. So you got this level uh, set up. And you know, when you're out shooting wildlife, you have to be really quick because things can happen within a second and you have to be ready. So it's nice to have big knobs, stuff like that, so you don't have to fiddle around trying to find them. You can just grab it and open it and yeah, everything works. So I really enjoy that. Next thing is it's robust. It's made for wildlife. You can, of course, see it on the camera. I'll come back to that. But it's made for being outdoors and being outside in all kinds of weather. Everything is like good quality. You can just feel that. And that is really, really important. It's not like my old tripod. I had it up north in northern Norway during the winter and we were sailing around in the fjords. So it got salt water on it. It got snow on it. 
and one and a half year after I bought it, it's already destroyed. It wasn't made for being outdoors all the time. But this one, this is made for being outside. Of course, I haven't been using it much because I just bought it, so I don't know how long it's gonna last, but this is a robust thing. Last thing is I really like the look of it. It's <laughs> green, I love green, and I definitely love camouflage. And this is, as you can see, camouflage on the legs. I must admit, I think it's mostly a gimmick because, you know, when you're out shooting wildlife, you use camouflage anyway. And for most tripods, you can get like camouflage covers and stuff like that. But it's nice that it is camouflaged. Again, it's just to show that this is made for wildlife. So that was definitely also uh, one of the reasons why I chose this tripod. Okay, let's move on to the gimbal head. This is the Sirui PH10 gimbal head. Uh, it's the smallest one. Uh, they got bigger ones, but uh, I chose this because it's lightweight and weighs nothing compared to a fluid head. A fluid head is a heavy thing. It got this resistant, which makes it really good when you're panning and you see an animal flying or something like that, you get a totally smooth pan. This one doesn't got any resistance, but uh, at least it got a lot of flexibility and I'll come back to that. Uh, I, of course, still use the fluid head, but this will be my go-to uh, setup because it's lightweight. Let me just show you how this gimbal head works because it's really cool. Just place this one here, making sure it's stabilized. When you have stabilized it and you just find this spot where the lens doesn't move, it can just stay in position. And that is really, really cool when you find a bird sitting on a branch and, and you're just waiting for it to move. You can just find the, the spot and you, you can just let go and then you're ready to shoot. You don't have to open and close the knobs all the time when you need to move the camera. You can just leave it in place. I get some lightweight, I get some flexibility, but I lose a bit of the uh, steadiness when I'm panning. And it is smooth, but it doesn't have the same resistance as a fluid head. That is what I'm giving up for, uh, for getting this. There are these two knobs here, the big one for this, and the small one, which is for this way. And as you can see, it got this cool movement to it. So it's really flexible and it's really easy to use. I have wrapped this one with some uh, camouflage. Again, I just love camouflage, but also because I actually, when I carry it around, I love to carry it like this. And then I can use this for a handle. And I think that's a pretty cool thing. Okay, that was pretty much it. I uh, hope you find my thoughts uh, on why I'm switching from a fluid head to a gimbal head useful and the reason why I chose this tripod when I needed to get a new one. I'll get out, shoot something now with this new setup. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. <laughs>